Okay guys, we are playing some more Downfall, and we are in this weird corridor section thing. And I am looking around. I'm very wary that I feel that... Okay, that's not good, that's where I came from originally. I'm very wary that if I stand too around in here too long, I'm going to get killed by a big axe. That's what I'm going to gamble and say. Fuck. This place is big. This place is really fucking big, actually. Like, surprisingly so. We'll, uh, hopefully find some stuff and not die. If I die, I die. Oh. What a waste. It's a bunch of pumpkins. Smashing pumpkins! It's a, it's a reference. There's nothing there except a wasted pumpkin with blood coming out of it. Fucking great. That music did not sound good right then. Oh, hi. Well, hi, Hello? Ivy. What is this place? Why would it matter? It is what it is. Mm hmm. A pile of rotten shit. I like the way she cusses, by the way. I like this sort of, like, Scandinavian enunciation. It does look a big toilet. It, it does. does. Look like a big toilet. Look, did you want anything? Because um, I'd rather be alone. Really? In a place like this? It's none of your business. Uh... Someone's following me. We need to get out of here. We do indeed. I can't. But... Why not? It's some crazy mother. He's got an axe. I know. But she will never let me go. Uh. Hey. Shh. Is Sophie here? Sounds like a right bitch. Still, no matter how bad she is, I'm sure she's at least not. I'm pretty sure it might be worse, but still. Like the. like the other guy. You don't know her. She is the monster that keeps me here. A fat little maggot that crawled inside my head and refuses to leave. That sounds lovely. She's a god and the devil. A trickster. A demon. Um, great. Great. Why don't you just make some room for me on that chair? And we'll wait together for our imminent death, shall we? Oh, she's zingy. I don't need your bitter irony. I knew you wouldn't understand. Just come with me. Go away. But how? This place is full of dead ends. I'm lost. There is one way. Okay. It leads right through her house. But maybe. Maybe you can make it. Okay. I will make it. You're coming with me. You can't help me. I don't care. Come with me. This, this place is batshit crazy. Stop moping. The sooner we go, the better. I said no. I said tough shit. Get your ass off this chair right now and follow me. But no buts. You'll be fine. Yeah, we won't die. I will protect you. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do that, but let's just fucking go, come on. Wait. There's a door in one of these rooms here. It won't open without a handle. You'll need to make one. Make a door handle? Not a real handle. Just one suited for a door like this. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'll deal with that. You just follow me, yeah? It's time to bust out of here. Right. Wish me luck, guys. I don't think we're going to survive at least at least once. We'll have a few tries, obviously. Careful now. I think the man that follows me went through here earlier. Okay, well, we won't go that way then. Isn't it a bad idea to go where you think he is? 
What's with the pumpkins? Dinner. Great. I fucking hate pumpkins. They're horrible. There's nothing else there. I thought they might be like part of this fucking key or whatever, but no. Okay, so we definitely have to go this way. I do not know where we're going, Ivy, but let's just... Is this the same thing again? Oh, it's just a fucking... Are we back in the pumpkin room this way? Yes! How? This whole thing is exceptionally disconcerting. We are so gonna die, Ivy, I'm sorry. I'm trying my hardest, but at least I've got saves in here. Right, so, we go this way. We just keep going left, I guess. I don't know where we're going. Right, this definitely isn't the room with the door. Was this wall here before? I don't know if it was or not. I'm guessing no. So. Have we been here before? We don't fucking know. Yeah, we've been here before. What? What? How? What? Where? How? Why? Where? This is new? We're here. This is new. That's the door I was telling you about. Let's have a look at the door. I'll pretend I believe you for now. No matter how crazy this sounds. Okay, examine the doll. So skinny, what a terrible role model for little girls. She kind of looks like Brush with a mane of thick hair. So... Wall. So... What kind of door handle did you have in mind? Isn't it obvious? One, that's suited for a door like this. Well, that does not help me at all. Oh, I've got an idea. So guys, I had an idea here. I'm probably going to die, but we'll try anyway. So we go to the pumpkin room. Go down here to the pumpkin room, because the doll's hair apparently looks like a brush. So, we go down here. Ha uh ha. -huh. Got it. Now we just have to get through here without getting fucking killed. Something which I'm not sold is definitely going to happen, but we'll see. Come on, we can do this. I think I'm going the right way. I fucking hope I'm going the right way. No, I'm not. Dead end. Fuck. So we now have the doll's head dipped in blood. Okay, we're on the right track. We're on the right track. Around this corner here. In here. Use. And we have a perfect door handle. Now, how do we use it? Push it. Okay. Open door. Yes. Well. No. Oh fuck. Fucking hell! You're so useless, Ivy. Hey. She didn't give a fuck. Agnes, she didn't care. Welcome to my house, young lady. Oh, hi! Lips on the wall. How you doing? Who... Who are you? I have so many names. It's hard to pick them. But the only thing that truly matters is who you think I am. Uh... Are you the devil? Are you the devil? <laughs> <laughs> Is this Sophie? <laughs> <laughs> I 
what would have been funny if she'd done that, like, ha 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 ha, and then gone, yes. <laughs> Just like deadpan at the end. I could write this shit. Come closer. Oh, yeah, she's in here. Oh, you're the, uh, you're death. I'm not as scary as they paint me. Yeah, you're death from the, from the cat lady. Right? Please, be my guest. Have some soup. I'm not sure I want any, really. But I like I don't mind uh No thanks. Why? Uh don't Is want there it. Something wrong with my soup? Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's it's gazpacho. I don't like gazpacho. Really, really is. It's blood. <laughs> it's tomato. Uh No, it's not. Liar. Yeah, zinging you. Oh, dear girl. Why so rude? Calling me names. Then all I'm trying to do is to be a good host to my unexpected guest. <laughs> I'm not eating blood. Thank you very much. So that was polite. Don't. But I bet your good friend Joe would gobble up every last bit. Well, I'm not really good friends with Joe. You know Joe? Oh, I know him well. He's uh, a friend of a friend. Okay, I see. Uh -huh. He came by not long ago. Did you give him your soup? He only tasted it. But he's already building up quite an appetite for it. I can tell. Is that a metaphor for something? Who are you? I mean... Who are you really? Why? So, you don't actually think I'm the devil anymore? No, I, I know you're you death, you or Queen of Maggots, or whatever they call you in this series. I've not used my real name for a long time. I don't need names. I am the Queen of Maggots. There we go, I was right. Adored and feared by all. And this is my kingdom of death. It's actually pretty- I mean, you've got some nice decor. But... There yeah, was death. once another name, am I right? Yes, there was. But why would I tell you about it? I love the fact this series has its own lore, you, you know? even belong here. Just passing through. I have no quarrel with you, young lady. Okay. Uh... Fine. Keep it. Whatever. I was just trying to be friendly. Uh... I've been warned about you. I don't think I'm it was about... Young girl who said you were a monster. I'm not sure it was her, <laughs> actually. I think it might have been Sophie. Do I look like a monster to you? You sound like one. You sound like a not French really. monster. But looks can be deceiving. And why are you telling me this? <laughs> Honest I, conversation. I like I Agnes, I by the way. Sorry for the girl. She's got a fucking great dialogue. I think you've done something really horrible to her. That, my dear, is none of your business. But between you and me, the bitch had it coming. Hmm. It was nice chatting about the soup, but I think I'll go now. It was nice chatting about soup, but I think I'll go now. So early. What about the main course? Oh, okay, it's a big horse it's stick. Been in the oven for a while now. Oh god. Um. I'm on a strict diet, actually. Goodbye. That was polite, you see. All food looks just awful. Why would anyone want to even touch this stuff? Oh. Have you changed your mind about the soup? No. I just wanted to borrow this fork for a minute. If you're not going to eat, leave the cutlery for the next guest. Please. Okay, I guess we can't take the fork. One don't, more thing. Don't want to piss her off. Yeah? Would you kindly blow out one of the candles in the next room? Ah, yeah, because in the cat lady. Why? It's <sighs> just a little tradition in my house. I ask all my guests to do that. 
So I'll yeah. Think about it. In the Cat Lady, when you blow out a candle, it kills someone. Like, each candle symbolizes a life. So this is definitely death. I guess I'll do it. I mean, then, what is there to lose, really? We'll see a death, I think, yeah. There we go! Lovely! Right in the schnoz was the achievement for that. What a monstrosity! Pretty sure, uh... Oh. Withered roses, they've been dead for a long time. Pretty sure Joe's in a coffin down here. If we picked up his route, I think we, um... Uh, there's something different about this coffin, okay. Well, how are we gonna get the... How are we gonna get it open if we don't have... The fork to pull out. Can you stop following me, please, Mr. Painting, sir? Oh, she's gone now, so we can take the fork. And now we can go back and prize open the coffin with the fork, I'm guessing. So, hello, coffin, how's it doing? I need something bigger to pry this open. Well, that's just rude. What can we use the fork for? Well, a lonely seashore. Mm. Very wary that we're going to get attacked. Axe man's coming, right? Floorboard. Examine. Oh, that's what we heard when we came in. I thought it was him on the door. I can't get my fingers in the gap. I need to pry open with something. Um, use the fork. And we get a crowbar. Take crowbar. Right, now we go. Oh, that was cool. I, th I actually heard that banging when I came in. I thought it was the Axeman banging on the door. But it turns out it wasn't. It was literally... That's kind of cool. They removed a distinct amount of weirdness in this game. Right. Like, Let's pretty sure the, the ghost of the lead singer of the band, Him, guides you in this. Did you just use my catchphrase? How could you? Do you think... Do you think I'm pretty? Just about the prettiest girl that's ever walked this earth. Yeah. And that's what I thought when I first saw you. That was five years ago. I'm 29 now. And I feel... I don't know. You're still just as beautiful as you were then. Ah. Of course you would say that now. I mean it. No. I know you. You're just saying that because you're hoping to get laid again. That's all. Um, I'm saying it because I love you. I'm saying it because I love you. I know. And I wish I could just not think about it, but I... Think about what? You will not understand. Try me. It's stupid. I feel like such an idiot, and I hate myself for it. But it's there, all the time. This inner voice trying to change who I am. I try to stop it. I try. But it always comes back, and I do it again and again. You can talk to me about it. I... I can't, really. It doesn't matter. Just worrying about nothing, I guess. You know what I'm like. I do. And I can see there's something you're not telling me. You will. You're not gonna like this. Let's just leave it. I'm here for you, Ivy. Just 
just say what it is. Okay. I've been making myself sick. What? And I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this, but it's so easy. Just stick fingers down my throat so I can look in the mirror again and like what I see. But why? Because I'm a woman. I want to be beautiful again, Joe. You are beautiful. Please. Has someone said something mean to you again? You know you shouldn't be listening to those assholes. But it's everywhere, Joe. Those women on TV and in the magazine. This is very poignant stuff. Why can't I be like them? But you're not even fat. I'm size 12, Joe. 12. I mean, as someone who has struggled with their weight like their whole life, I really do not like how I physically look. Um, and I'm not talking about, I'm not just like saying, you know, I'm a large person and I, like, um, I'm not a large person because there's, there's people like, obviously, like, um, Ivy here who perceive themselves as being fat when they're clearly obviously not. I really have struggled with my weight. Like, I have been really big. It's one of the reasons I don't do face cam, guys. And, you know, to be transparent with you guys, I'm not. I would consider a normally attractive person. I've actually been losing quite a bit of weight for the first time in my life lately, which is kind of awesome. But I totally empathize with the concept of looking in the mirror and feeling like shit. Like, I have like a fucking phobia of mirrors. I dislike looking at myself that much. And while it's easier to say, oh, you know, you just lose weight and things like that, it's not been something that's come easy to me. But it is something that's actually starting to happen to me now, which is. Which is good, but I do really understand the overriding themes of self-disgust and self-loathing that the game sort of paints here. And it's some really hard-hitting stuff for me personally, and I assume for other people who are going to watch this too. Promise me you'll never do it again. That's why I've told you. So I could stop. I'll help you. You'll just have to... Talk to me whenever you feel like doing it again. We can beat this shit together, Ives. Are you mad at me? No. I love you, Ivy. I could never be mad at you. Hey, we should get a cat. We should totally get a cat. I thought... You hated cats. I never said that. It's a little unexpected, but okay. A cat. Why the hell not? Maybe a random happy distraction is what we need around here. Just not one of those bald little fuckers. It will be black as night with eyes like two shiny emeralds. And it will stink. And purr. And scratch. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. Poor cat. What will we name him? Him? Hmm. Uh, Midnight. Midnight? Hmm. We're getting close. But that's not it. I can't actually remember what they call it. Oh, Lucifer, right? Lucifer. 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 Hmm. Yes. That's good. I mean, it's bad, but it's good. You know what I mean? It's an awesome name for a cat, I Lucifer. Like so that's settled then. Maybe I'll ask this crazy lady next door if she has any kittens. You know how there's always plenty of cats around there. Awesome! Joe? Yeah? Oh great, what the fuck now? No. This is not fucking happening. I'm a it's a coffin, I'm buried alive in a goddamn coffin. Help! 
Help! Oh great, what the fuck is that? Let me out! Come on. Jesus Christ. Is there anyone there? There's no one out there, Joe. Oh, fuck me. You might as well give up now. It's easier that fuck way. Fuck you, undead bodies. Who are you? It's been so long. You've forgotten their names long ago. Oh, that's Davosity and Cry just and... doesn't matter. I don't know everyone. When you're dead. All there is left is watching and waiting. Watching and waiting. Watching and waiting. I'm sorry, a person who does the third voice. I recognize Dave and Cry, obviously, but I don't know who does the third voice. And I'm sorry if it's someone I know, like I talk to on a regular basis, but I apologize in advance. Where am I? This place has many names. Some call it the Void. Some call it the Grave. Some call it Six Feet Under. And some call it the Tomb. But we like to call it... Wait for it, Joe. The Paradise of the Rotten Flesh. Lovely. <laughs> How do you know my name? The maggots told us. They told us all about you. Maggots that look like people. But you mustn't trust them. Because they're maggots. All they want is to... All that maggots want is... Eat your own flesh? To eat your fucking brain, Joe. <laughs> That's really cool. It's a really Funny cool section. Fellas, they're maggots. Uh... You're just a voice in my head. Go to hell. I don't have to listen to your lies. And you're not even there. It's all in my mind. Let's get out of the coffin. But Joe... If the voice inside your head is you... Who is the one listening to it? Uh... Come on, Joe. Find the way out. What's this? You know very well what it is, Joe. The only way out of here. The only escape. The question is... Are you man enough to do it? Do you have the balls? It's gonna be like something to kill myself Will with? You do what you've gotta do. Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Only trying to help, but... Uh. The good corpses. Mm. The only friends you've got. One pull of a trigger, and it's all well, over. Well, it's better than suffocating, I guess. You only hurt for a second. Be in charge of your own destiny. You could never have won that battle anyway. Oh yeah, fuck it you. Was lost from the start. All there's left is to do the right thing and save your face. Not that there'll be much of it left if you do fire that gun. <laughs> Uh not gonna do this. Uh examine. Why do I have castor oil on me right now? Is this really the only option? That's all I've got. Fuck. It's just trolling me. <laughs> Ah, it's good to be saved. It's you. <laughs> I love every action. I love every action. Ah. I guess the X Men put me in there. He probably did, bastard. How did you? How did you find me? Just magical. I chose destiny. 